deep neural network first to distinguish if there is any significant structural changes in brain MRI for migraine patients compared to healthy patients. So we verified that using a deep neural network classifier, and we found there was some significant difference. And the main purpose of the research was to figure out which brain region were different in migrant patients. So we basically listed some most significant brain regions. Those were different in migrant patients. And that's what we'll be presenting. We tested, uh, we had a total 67 migrant patients in our data set and over 500 healthy patients in our data set. And we tested our method on six migrant patients and six uh, healthy patients. We kept them unseen during the training process. And our method actually achieved 83% accuracy on validation data set but on unseen data set, it achieved 75% accuracy. And when we listed those brain regions, we found uh, many brain regions, those were responsible for the migraine. For example, precentral, insula, thalamus were uh, some of those.